We've come a long way working our way through this process. We've downloaded Mozilla Thunderbird. We got it installed. We've added our email address to it so that we can send and receive emails with it. We've even went to Komodo and got an email certificate so that we can uh, send and receive uh, signed and encrypted emails, at least once we get that far. And that's been installed to the Windows Message Store. Now, if you've read on the page, you notice that uh, uh, some programs can use the Windows uh, uh, security, I'm sorry, certificate store, uh, and some can't. Well, Mozilla uh, cannot, so we have to uh, import the certificate into Mozilla uh, Thunderbird. But the first thing we have to do is get it from uh, the certificate store in Windows. So to do that, we're going to click on the Windows button and we're going to select the control panel. And then we're going to select network and internet, and we want internet options. Now when this dialog pops up, we want the content tab. And then here in this area where it says certificates, we want to click on certificates. Okay. And then across the top, we want the personal tab. And then if we look, we should see our email address that we got here. You see the HCTPPatriot um, at Gmail certificate. This is the one I want. And I want to export that so that I can actually have a copy of that on the disk. So when I click that, a wizard pops up. We're going to say next. Okay. And in this case, I want to export the private key because we're going to imp import everything into uh, Mozilla Thunderbird. And we're just going to have to have that. Plus, we'll have a backup copy of it in case our computer ever crashes. So we can save it to a key drive or burn it to a disk or put it on offsite storage or whatever. So we're going to se select yes, export the private key. And we're going to uh, click next. Okay. And then what we want is personal information exchange PKCS number 12 or a PFX file. So we're going to select that one. That's all we really need at this point. We're going to hit next. Now it wants a password. Now the reason why it does this is prevents somebody from grabbing your certificate and installing it on their machine. You have a pass, you know, a password to keep it uh, protected. So this password you want to make sure is hard to guess and and you keep it, uh, remember what it is, write it down somewhere if you have to, and store it securely. Um, but I want to go ahead and put the password I want to use in here. Okay, and then we have to confirm the password. Okay, and once we've done that, we can hit Next. Okay, now it wants to know a file name to name it. I'm just going to hit Browse. And I want to select my desktop so that it's stored up there. And then for the file name, I want to make it something easy for me to remember when I see it. So I'm just going to call this uh, HCTP Patriot Email Cert for certificate. Okay. I'm going to hit save, and then I'm going to come back up here. We see that it's it's filled in there with the destination and everything, and we're just going to hit next. This is letting us know what it, what the wizard is going to do. It tells us uh, the name of the file here that we're saving and the location it's going to be saved to. Whether or not if we're exporting the keys, yes. Are we including all the certificates in the path? No, we just want the one. And the file format is the personal information exchange. So we just hit finish and it tells us whether or not if the export was successful or failed. Uh, here we know that it was successful, so we're good. And that's all there is to that. We'll close this. Of this OK, and we can close that. So here you see on my desktop right here is uh, a copy of my email certificate. Now this here, um, you might want to put that on a thumb drive or burn it on a CD or keep it somewhere safe just in case your computer ever crashes. That way you don't have to go out and revoke and create a new one or go through the hassle of getting it again. You can just reuse it. Now the second part here that we have to do, we actually have now we have to get this certificate inside of Mozilla Thunderbird so that we can send and receive signed and encrypted email. So we're going to start Mozilla Thunderbird. Okay, it's very simple. We're going to hit Tools. Then we're going to go to Account Settings. Now you remember up here where we set up our email account? Well, underneath that, what we're interested in is this little bottom line here that says Security. We're going to click that. Okay, now um, I'm trying to save a little bit of a step here. We're going to we're going to go view certificates and this this pops up this window that sh lets you see all the certificates that are installed on your computer. Well, the one that we're interested in is the top first tab called your certificates and you see that it's it's empty. So, we will click import 
and then we're going to browse to where we stored that certificate and here you see the HTTP uh, uh, Patriot email cert file that we created we're just going to select that we're going to hit open and then once the password now this is the password that we set up when we save the certificate so we're going to enter that same password here okay and then select OK and if everything went well it will say that it successfully restored your cert cert security certificates and private keys Just select OK and OK to close that dialog now we're back over here to the security settings and what we need to do is we need to provide it the certificate so that we can digitally sign messages that we send. So we're going to hit select and by default it pulls up our certificate and, and you see where it says issue to and it has our email address. This is the one we want. So we're just going to select OK. And it says, hey, you should also specify a certificate for other people to use when they send you encrypted messages. Do you want to use the same certificate to encrypt and decrypt messages sent to you? Yes, we do. Okay. So that's all we need there. And we hit OK and then we're back. Now uh, the email certificate has been imported into Mozilla, Mozilla Thunderbird. Not too hard, uh, just a few uh, hoops and hurdles uh, to go through to get it actually out of the Windows uh, uh, certificate store. A copy of the file there on our desktop, which now we can save somewhere else to keep it for safe, and we have it imported in Mozilla Thunderbird. Uh, at this point, now all we got to do is uh, start uh, sending emails, signing them and uh, sending them encrypted and that will be the topic of the next section so hopefully uh, things are going pretty smooth for you if you got questions or you need help uh, use the contact us link menu menu link at the top of the page and just send the webmaster an email and I'll be more than happy uh, to try to help you figure the process out thanks for your time and patience, guys